video from today about Bitcoin in today's segment, we will be taking a closer look at Litecoin also known as LTC. Currently Litecoin is ranked at number 12 in terms of market capitalization with a value of approximately $6.11 billion over the past 24 hours it has experienced a trading volume of around $243 million today. We will be discussing some intriguing price action for Litecoin, so sit back relax and enjoy the video. Without any further delay, let us shift our focus to the chart. For Litecoin versus USD on the 4-hourly time frame for this analysis we will be using Coinbase as our data source as we have observed there is a compelling case for a bullish outlook on Litecoin primarily due to the fact that the bulls have managed to hold the level of 82 specifically 82.25 as long as the price of Litecoin continues to hold this level our bullish sentiment remains intact in fact we may even witness an impulsive push towards the 200 EMA at the 88 region this potential push could result in a 6% increase in value for Litecoin, however, it is important to note that we should anticipate some consolidation in the near future possibly continuing until the weekend when we look at the indicators we can see that Litecoin is currently consolidating around the zero level on the cloud indicator this means that we should expect a period of consolidation rather than a big move up or down also. The Z-score indicator shows that we are currently in an overbought region and the price is slowly going down, this makes it more likely that Litecoin will continue to consolidate. We expect this consolidation phase to last as long as we hold the 82 level, and by Monday, we could see an impulsive push towards the 80 to 80 range. To sum up, that is our analysis for Litecoin. We want to thank you for watching and wish you a good day. Now let's talk about Ethereum. Not only has Ethereum grown a lot in the last week, but it has also grown a lot in the last day. This shows that the market and buyers are hopeful about Ethereum. Ethereum is an independent blockchain platform that lets people make apps that don't need a central server, like smart contracts. DApp's original cryptocurrency, Ether, is used to power the Ethereum network and run smart contracts. As a pioneer in blockchain technology, Ethereum has a big place in the crypto community. The Ethereum network has changed the way we think about and use digital contracts, decentralized applications, and even initial coin offerings to raise money. Many of the applications and projects in Ethereum's ecosystem are based on its blockchain technology. Developers can use Ethereum's smart contract feature to build decentralized applications that are open, can't be changed, and run on their own. This natural area encourages new ideas in areas like open non-fundable tokens, NFTs. DeFi money and finances Ethereum can be used for open supply chain management, identity verification, and many other things. This is one of its most important uses. Finance did not DeFi platforms use Ethereum smart contracts to give a variety of financial services like loans, yield farming, decentralized exchanges and the creation of synthetic assets. This is because people are looking for decentralized alternatives to standard financial systems. Because of what Ethereum can do, the growth of DeFi has made it more important and used. Non-fungible tokens, NFTs, which are unique digital assets that show ownership or authenticity of digital and real things, have become more popular. Because NFTs are compatible and strong, they have become very popular in areas like digital art, games, collectibles, and intellectual property rights. Ethereum is the main blockchain for NFT growth and trades, and its future looks very bright as it continues to grow and change. The planned Ethereum 2.0 update, also known as Ethereum's move to a proof-of-stake consensus method, is expected to improve scalability, security, and energy efficiency. This change has gotten a lot of attention from the crypto community because it could give Ethereum even more chances to grow. Ethereum's current value of $1,920 and interesting nature make it a very interesting coin in the cryptocurrency world. Ethereum's importance in the crypto community can't be overstated as its strong ecosystem serves as a catalyst for innovation and decentralization. Ethereum is used in many areas, such as decentralized finance, DeFi, and non-fundable tokens, NFTs, which are shaping the future of finance and digital ownership. As Ethereum continues to build its powerful technology, it will continue to change the world in technical politics, and it's only the beginning.
Saylor agreed that some government structures might make it necessary to rely on third-party guardians. On the technical side, he knew that layer three third parties like Bank of America and Apple help make mobile crypto transfers work. Saylor also said that it might be safer for some people, like the elderly or those who want to make sure their assets are safe for future generations, to give their things to someone else. Saylor thinks that Bitcoin will have different ways of integrating and that the market will figure out the best mix of institutional and self-sovereign ways. He said that people shouldn't be afraid of the many ways to integrate because the changing Bitcoin market will naturally figure out the best mix of ways to integrate. On coin market cap, Bitcoin worth $6.1 billion has been bought and sold. Bitcoin is the most valuable and is worth $571 billion on the market. There are currently 19,455,681 BTC coins in circulation, but the most that can be made is 21 million BTC coins. How much is Bitcoin going to cost? The technical picture for Bitcoin hasn't changed, and neither has the amount of support, which is around $2,920. BTC has a neutral bias right now because it is unlikely to go above $29,600 in the next four hours. If there is a bullish breakout above $29,600, BTC could reach $30,200,000. The price of Bitcoin has reached $29,000,200, which is a key retracement mark of 61.8%. Seeing doji candles close is a sign that the market is indecisive. Up top this level could be a sign of a rising correction, but if the price falls below it, it could go down to $2,925. On the other hand, if BTC can break through the barrier at $30,000, it could go up to $35,000. The recent 2% rise in the price of Bitcoin in just 24 hours has made people wonder what it might mean for buyers. As the market continues to change, the question arises, does this rise mean that now is a good time to buy? In a recent article, Michael Saylor talked about how he sees Bitcoin being used in the future talked about how he sees the growing trend of big companies adopting Bitcoin and making it the center of their business. Saylor stressed that third parties and businesses will always be a part of the Bitcoin ecosystem. He said that as Bitcoin becomes more common in society, different ways to use it will come up, and a one-size-fits-all solution may not work. Saylor gave three main reasons why the Bitcoin space needs custodians. A technical Politics and its own.